Hi, this is Ale from the Customer Education Team. And on this video, we are going to go over blogs. Uh, first thing, you need to click in the Site and Panels menu from the left side of the screen. And then you will find the blog section. Uh, when clicking on it, you will see your blog's dashboard. And here, you can edit the name of your blog. Here is where you will see the posts that you have added to your blog. In this case, I've added two. Here in these tabs, you can filter your, your blog posts by the ones that are in draft, meaning that uh, the ones here, uh, those are haven't, haven't been um, published yet in the draft section. And then in the public uh, tab, you will see the ones that are already published. Um, here in these buttons here, we have customize, we have settings, view blog, and new blog post. Um, first, let's let's start by checking this the blog settings by clicking on the gear icon. Here, this is another area where you can change the name of your blog. Here, you can change the current path of your blog. Here, you can select a different style for the blog, and here you can select a page template. This will be the blog information, the general information of your blog. And then we also have this SEO and sharing. Here you can add a title for your blog. This, is, this, is, this title will appear in the tab when people opens your blog. And then this is a description of your blog, and you can add a default sharing image. Uh, this information is optional. And then we will move to categories. You can create categories to, um, to group the content of your blog. For example, if you have uh, several blogs talking about the same topic, you can create a category, a category for, for that topic. Uh, you only need to click here in, in new category and then add the name for the category. And then uh, we will see the tags. You can add tags to your to your blog. Uh, this will be only for your organization, for internal organization. Your customers won't be able to see these tags. And lastly, you can add authors. You can have more than one author. You only need to click in here to add to add them. And once you have done um, completing this information, you can create. You can click in update blog. Uh, going back to the to the blog dashboard, uh, we have the customize button. This customize button will take you to the editor. Let's click on it and let me explain more about this section. Here in the left side, you will see blog home, blog category, and then these are the posts that, that have been added to the, to the blog. Uh, so let's start with the blog home. Blog home. As you can see here, there's a lot of information that are inside of these brackets. That means that this information will be updated with the information of your blog. So blog name will be replaced by the name of your blog and this post title will be replaced with the name of each one of the posts and with their own picture as well. So here is where the categories will appear in this area. And uh, yes, you can edit this page as you wish. You can add your logo, change uh, typography, uh, background color, etc. <clears throat> and then this, the block, this is the block category template. Each one of the categories, when you click on them, um, will take you to this page. So it will be the same uh, process. You can edit as you wish, and the information inside of brackets uh, will be updated with the information of each post. Here in this area, you will see your uh, posts. And for example, if we click here, we will see that here in the post content is where you can add uh, each post information. Uh, but we can see that the background is in black and white uh, and it's not editable. So where you can edit this template, uh, you can do it from here. If you click in the templates um, tab and then click here, you will see that now this background is editable. So this is your post background. This is where you can edit each post background 
uh, and it will be applied to all of them. Uh, in order to add specific content to each post, you will need to have this element here, the content body. And by adding this, you only need to click on add new element and then click on dynamic slots and then content body. Okay, so this uh, content body element that says dynamically replaced will be replaced by this purple section here, and it will allow you to add specific content to each one of the posts. Uh, now, if, you go back, if we go back to the blog dashboard, uh, we still have these two buttons here. Uh, this one is uh, a preview to see a preview of the blog. And this is to create a new blog post, but we will see this uh, process in, on another video. And uh, I forgot to mention that you can also filter and sort your blog posts by, by using these two filters uh, from here. I hope this information about blogs uh, was helpful. Uh, once again, this is Ale from the customer education team. Thanks.